Meantime, as East Palestine recovers, people in that community have another way to access health care. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti tells us how what started as an effort to help during the COVID-19 pandemic is now expanding. A familiar site is returned to the East Palestine area. The Community Action Agency of Columbiana County will be sending its mobile health care unit to the village a couple times a week. We had planned to come to East Palestine and other communities with our mobile unit to help give access to the people that may not be able to get to our offices. The agency ordered the van back during the pandemic, using federal COVID relief funds to pay for it. CEO Tom Andrews tells me the original intent was to use it to offer testing and vaccinations, but because of supply chain and manpower issues, it never arrived until last December. Then the train derailment happened in February, and the van was sent to assist state officials making health assessments. We're here if there were any patients that did not have a primary care physician or didn't have insurance, we were here to schedule them with our services. The agency is a federally qualified health service and can take patients regardless of whether they have their own primary provider or insurance. We have a sliding fee scale and we will turn no one away who ha doesn't have the ability to pay. Andrew says the agency currently has more than 10,000 patients and would like to expand its coverage, especially in this community where neighbors are still concerned about ongoing health risks because of the derailment. It's to be that long-term entity because we're not going anywhere. In East Palestine, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.